I'll have you know that my ability to relinquish is more powerful than you think. Don't take my powers lightly. That was a hearty laugh. What a fine joke Shimata gave us. Her presence. That Shimata sure is a hoot. How comedic of her to believe she has any importance in anything. But this is the annual gathering of Gen Sokyo's own pantheon. All of Gen Sokyo's goddesses are expected to be here. Then perhaps you should revert the event to its previous name, the annual gathering of Gen Sokyo's strongest and finest. That would automatically disqualify her. You guys, that was extremely rude and uncalled for. Despite what you believe, she's still a goddess and deserves reverence. Nobody takes her seriously and she doesn't seem to serve a purpose other than nagging people about how she has no worshippers. Those two poverty gods who are pickpocketing everyone get more respect than her. But this is again Sokyo, a refuge to the supernatural who have been forgotten by the outside world. That's not much when even fairies can get into Gen Sokyo. The silly antics of Cherno has done more for Gen Sokyo than Shimada could ever accomplish. Speaking of which, why did you invite Cerno? Only goddesses and the most prominent are allowed in this event. I did tapped into her back door a couple of times. She practically has a bit of my power in her, making her an honorary goddess and in some ways my lover. You really think it's a good idea to give that childish fairy omnipotent power? Don't worry about it. She can only have access to this power if I activate it. But she has a tan. Clearly you gave her some power before coming here. As you said, this party is for the most powerful and elite, so the only way for her to come here is to juice her up a bit. And just how much power did you give her? Just a little bit. Not that much, but just enough. Just enough to become death the destroyer of worlds, but she's too dumb to realize that so don't worry about it, she won't be destroying Gensukyo anytime soon. I don't care for the fact that Brat is here with us, but I did wrote on the invitation that you could bring a friend so I'll consider her Eternity's companion. Wait, who did you invite? Eternity Lava, I believe she's the goddess of summer, or at least I think, I can't recall. drink. Actually, where is my drink? Yeah, what happened to our drink? I would have flown they were right near us. They're at the counter. Looks like we drifted away for a bit. Oh, now I feel kind of silly. Don't worry about it, cousin. Everything you do always makes you look like a fool. You should be used to it by now. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Because pretending is the only thing you're good at, right? Wait, which one is mine? They must be in order. I'm sure we didn't drift that much. No, I'm certain I was where Kosan was in the beginning. And I'm certain that I was standing where Yukari is currently. There's no need to worry about this. Let's just order another round. Bartender, give us three beers. I'm out. What do you mean you're out? Oh no. What is she doing here? Well this event does welcome the strongest in Gen Sokyo. And I did say you could invite a friend. When are you getting more booze? I've already ordered some more, but I don't know when it'll get here. I guess that's fine. I mean, we don't need alcohol to enjoy this event, right? I created this event because we also have to talk about the state of Gen Sokyo, and if that means that I have to spend the next few hours talking to a self-righteous hippie and a psychopath with a god complex, then I'm going to need something to numb the pain. I need that beer before I realize Gen Sokyo was a mistake. And how exactly are we going to find out which glass belongs to who when all three look the same? As if someone copied and pasted each one because they're too lazy to draw individual and unique mugs.
Let's cut to the chase. Tell us which one belongs to who. Oh, I'm sorry. I must be going deaf because I didn't hear the part where you apologized. Well, you guys did insult her earlier, saying that her ability was useless. That's right. And look who's come crawling to my assistance. You should really apologize for saying that she was of no benefit to Gonsokyo. Exactly as Kaysen says. And then saying that she was pathetic for being easily manipulated because she is desperate and greedy for followers. Yes, that too. So how about we get on with that apology? And then saying that her importance in Gensokyo was the equivalent of a smelly homeless man who even the yokai didn't want to eat. Okay, you made their transgression clear. Don't get me started about how you said she was a dumb bimbo whose only redeeming essence was that she had a nice pair of breasts in rear end. You say that like it's a bad thing. So, are you guys going to apologize to me or not? Apology for what? That was a compliment. I do not appreciate being the butt of your jokes. Just like how you don't appreciate the nice butt you've been gifted. Alright, fine. I'll be the first to admit that we're in a situation that needs your ability, okay? So why not just tell us which beer belongs to who, so you can at least claim that in the history you've been in here, you did, one, good thing for Gensukio. I beg your pardon, but my presence in Gensukio has been for the better. After all, who's the one modernizing Gensukio from a backwater boondock to an industrial superpower? Hanako. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why I partnered with her. But who's the one who has provided an easier way for the residents of Gensukio to get their provisions? That would be Yukari, at least for Yokai. After all, she's the one kidnapping people from the outside world to feed them. I do not kidnap people from the outside world. Those are groundless rumors, okay? There are no witnesses to that account. You're right. There are no witnesses, anymore. I do not kidnap people, okay? I don't. I really don't. Don't investigate this. Just take my word for it, if you know what's good for you. I'm talking about my chain of superstores. Have they not made life more convenient to the people by having a single place for all their shopping needs? It would if those stores weren't so expensive to shop in. And what do you think all those coupons that take off 15 cents are for? Those things are a disgusting eyesore. I hate it when outside world influence are introduced into Gensokyo. But you have an iPhone, the latest one I might add. Well, yes, but I'm the only one allowed to have one. After all, as one of the sages of Gensokyo, I must have a fast way to make contact with my underlings. Oh? Is that why the TikTok app is prominent on the home screen? I'm still waiting for that apology. Are you going to validate my ability to relinquish ownership? Yeah, that's right. Because we all know that all the chaos and cataclysm that happens in Gensokyo isn't because the anger of the gods. Oh no. It's because some kid forgot to write their name on their Nintendo Switch. Which you also introduced to Gensokyo. I don't want to hear your insults, Yukari. Especially since you kidnap people. That is another issue I have with you. I don't kidnap people. How many times must I tell you? I only need to look at you to tell that you have kidnapped exactly 12,263,677 people in total to feed the Yukai of Gensakayo. You can't just pull out a random number out of your ass and call it a statistic. The point is I'm getting sick and tired being made fun of. The power to give and take possession of an object is not just important, but detrimental to the balance of society. If that's the case, you're so screwed, considering that two of the most colorful personalities in Gensokyo happens to be a thieving witch and a greedy shrine maiden, as well as the presence of two goddesses whose only purpose is to take all your money when you're not looking and then spend it all on a casino which as you know, is an establishment that represents the opposite of all you stand for. You don't have a leg to stand on. I'm surprised you haven't faded away yet. That's because of one little thing, the only thing that is keeping me alive, the introduction of currency. As long as people are paying with money, I can sustain myself. Thank you for giving me another reason to revert back to the bartering system we had before. Looks like you guys still don't get it. Perhaps getting a little history lesson about myself may convince you otherwise. It all started when I discovered that I was non-binary. Not 
free reimagine me, the first goddess to not have a defined gender. Except you're not. By the way, my pronouns are they them for the time being. I'm also gender fluid. I am scheduled to be a she her on Tuesday. But if all that is too complicated, I accept bowing down to me as a replacement for pronouns. It's mere mortals who are supposed to be bowing down to a goddess, not the other way around. Hey, that's uncalled for, especially since it's Pride Month. Not in Gen Sokyo, because the only thing humans are supposed to be proud of is that they survived to live another day. Come on, guys, we gotta be respectful. I guess you're right, Kosen, in that I should be respectful. After all, I am the goddess of the mentally impaired. Enough of this nonsense. Are you going to tell us which beer belongs to who or not? So this one is mine? No, it isn't. By the way, I should tell you this one has been drugged. Someone slipped a pill into it. Looks like someone wanted to get lucky tonight. Who could have done such a thing? I don't condone this at all. The stealing of someone's virginity is the most heinous of theft. Oh, don't worry about that. Yukari gave that away a long time ago. There's no point in going further with my explanations. The one with the pill was for Yukari, and this one belonged to Okaina. This last one is Kassen's, but Okaina dipped her finger in it. This has been a major waste of time. Well, I hope you have learned your lesson. If you simply respected me and my place in Gen Sakayo, then perhaps I would have saved you the trouble of wondering whose drink belonged to who. And this proves just how valuable my ability is. Just because you gave something away doesn't mean you no longer own it. Every object has an attachment to its original owner, and no matter how much you try to deny that possession, there's still a little bit of yourself in that object. Just like how you refused to drink any of these beers because you didn't know which one was which, you must also treat every object as if a part of yourself has been attached to it. I hope this has been a valuable- The beer has arrived. Oh, thank me. We're saved. About time. I need a drink badly after all that yapping. You know that being non-binary is being selfish, right? How could you claim you have no gender yet have such a nice rack and ass? Clearly female properties. Very finely made female properties might I add. Shame on you for not recognizing your nice assets. At least give them to someone who identifies as female, like me. So give me that ass. You don't even know what non-binary means. Not at all, but as you said, it is Pride Month so I want to be respectful. I am the goddess of the least represented in Gen Sikyo after all. So in reality, this is actually Okina Month. And don't worry about what Yukari said. Even though we don't celebrate in Gen Sikyo, it is always Pride Month in my bed. After all, liking women is my sexual orientation. Aren't you a lowly con? Yes. That would be my sexual preference. That's what the L stands for after all. The L stands for lesbian. Oh, is that so? But it's fine. It can mean two things. You're welcome. Greetings, it's me, your favorite Toho character. Boy, this sure was a fun video, wasn't it? But you know what is even more fun? Capitalism, because it's the time-honored tradition of the YouTube and Slate. Compact Yomu is currently running a crowdfunding campaign for an animated series based on Tuho 15. If you are enjoying his regular content, just imagine how much more amazing they could be if they, you know, actually looked good. But all things take time as the project is currently in its planning stages. What we can do at this time is get started with a 30 second teaser trailer. Something to get people excited for the upcoming project, as well as to test out how the final product could potentially look like. But even something as simple as a 30-second trailer requires a lot of work, and that's why he needs to reach his first goal of $3,000 to help make this project a reality. Head on over to the crowdfunding campaign on the Ko-Fi page where you can donate or commission illustrations or even animated pieces like these you are watching right now, courtesy of the wonderful people who supported the cause. The channel also has a Patreon for those who can support monthly. Patrons will be rewarded with early access to the upcoming Toho 8 parody, as well as progress reports on the Toho 15 animated adaption 
for those willing to pay a bit extra. There is even an option to donate right now with the Super Thanks button right under this video. Every bit helps and your contribution will be very appreciated. You can find the links on the description of this video. So now that we're done with that, have you thought about making the 2018 animated series instead? I mean, I'm sure that people would prefer an adaption of Unconnected Marketeers. Because I'm in it. I'm quite the popular character, you know? This crowdfunding campaign would be over if you decided to adapt. What? You actually are? Planning a Tovo 18 series? Are you serious? Uh, parody. You mean just the regular funny videos? Can I at least be in the low K adaption? Yeah, I know I wasn't introduced until three games later, but how about an early bird cameo or something? You want me to do what? You are asexual, if I'm not mistaken.